Tri-catch is the root of all evil in JavaScript. Let's see how Rust makes it better. So what's the deal with Tri-catch? Let's have a simple example like this, using Node to read a file. That could come back successfully or throw an error. And that's probably unexpected. You don't want users seeing a 500 error. So you wrap it with a try and catch any errors. Hmm. You probably want to make sure what the error is, or if you're lazy like me, yeah. have the same fallback for every error. And in a world with TypeScript where we know the return type of functions, shrugging at our errors isn't okay. Libraries like Zod are going the right direction, replacing throwing with functions that safely return the error instead so you can type check and handle it. If only we're baked into the language, oh yeah, Rust agrees. If you don't know something's always going to be successful, like parsing data, you can return a result to either return successfully or maybe as a static error message. If you call this function, you can't access properties right away. Instead, we can pattern match messing with data if it comes back okay and taking errors down a different path. Errors should be typed so you handle them, and Rust did it perfectly.